Hey Gemini, gang gang, what it do? <laughs> so Gemini, this is going to be a reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your North Node, okay? It won't resonate with every single Gemini, so take what resonates, leave the rest, or take it how it resonates to your life. It's going to be different for everyone. Personal readings in the description box, you guys can email me um, for personal readings, whatever works for you, okay? uh yeah also you guys i did say in the last video i was going to start going live um with like a, an advice segment so you guys have been emailing me questions i'm getting a lot of love questions which is cool some of these stories y'all are telling me baby <laughs> also guys i won't say any names unless you guys want me to but no i'm not going to say anybody's name or uh, any type of detail. So guys, when you send questions, don't add names. Don't add names of people unless it's a fake name, okay? Because I'm not going to say anybody's name on the live, all right? So we have Envy. Also, hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys, if this resonates. All right, so Envy comes out first. And it says, I am the same as everybody else, but with different challenges, okay? So um, you may have someone around you that's jealous, or you have some jealous feelings, uh, Gemini, take it how it resonates. Pride. And it says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay, this is a good energy. And then I, and then we have discipline. I can ac accomplish what I set my mind to. So, Gemini, self-esteem on the bottom. So, Gemini, I don't know if it's you that's having some, some sort of uh, abundance is under self-esteem. So I'm not sure if you're having some type of um, self-esteem issue or you are comparing yourselves to others or what other people are doing or is someone doing that to you. Um, take it how it resonates, Gemini, all right? If you're comparing yourself to what other people are doing, whatever, whatever. You don't have to. You're your own individual uh person Gemini so you have to always remember that and again it might not even be you it could be someone in your energy okay all right spirit what you got for us <laughs> okay this is how we're starting off somebody might be watching you obsessively uh Gemini somebody's watching you obsessively or someone's obsessing over you someone may very well be jealous of you Gemini somebody around you might be jealous okay um Jealous and watching you, watching what you're doing. Hmm. The high priest is child, probably trying to do spell work and stuff on you too. What the fuck? Somebody trying to fuck with your money, um, Gemini. Somebody that's struggling. I'm not going to take all these, but the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Somebody might be struggling with their own uh, finances, and so they're trying to, like, um, put a spell on yours. Somebody's trying to put do spell work on you, um, Gemini. Somebody that's jealous. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Somebody that's doing bad in life, Gemini. Somebody just, somebody literally just cannot stand to see you succeeding. Okay, could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be. Somebody just can't stand to see you shining, um, Gemini. Let's see what else come out. Two of Wands. Mmm. Mmm with the knight of swords on the bottom yeah you're gonna find out whoever this is something's gonna come to light and i feel like there's gonna be some truth that comes forward regarding whoever this is i feel like there's some planning going on i'm going to clarify this but someone is somebody is planning something okay it could be you gemini uh you might be planning your next project planning your next move um somebody might be planning to come towards you The Ace of Cups, yeah. Oh, someone's coming towards you. Someone from the past, a soulmate with the Six of Cups on the bottom. Yes, um, it, and it could very well be, yeah, you're getting, a, you're about to get a love offer, uh, Gemini. 
and I feel like it could be whoever this this mofo was that was trying to do spell work that's not working. <laughs> this person was trying to um now okay. So this person was trying to do some type of spell work to keep you from moving on, uh Gemini. Yeah, but they realize it's not working. You're still going to move forward. You're still going to move on with your life. Why is this devil here? This person may also come around and try to use like uh, sex to to win you back over the three of cups. Yeah. Um, see, that's exactly what I thought. Let me let me pull something for the high priestess. This person is trying to keep you from moving on. And again, Gemini, they may use sex to do it. This person could have also been dealing with someone else too. Trying to make you stuck. The five of swords, yeah. See, they, the bullshit they're doing is not working. The ten of cups. <laughs> the five of pentacles. The shit's not working. Whatever it is. Whoever this motherfucker is, they're jealous. They're mad because you don't want to deal with them anymore. You've moved on. Gemini, some of you, I feel like you may have even been in your feelings about this person. Some of you may still be in your feelings, but you're not, you haven't, you're not showing them that you're in your feelings about it. You're not showing them. As far as they know, you're living out here, living your best life. And some of you are, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. This person is obsessing over you being with someone else. And so they're trying to do whatever they can to stop it. They're trying to stop you from being with someone else because they're jealous. This is the same energy that I got from you guys last time. I noticed too, guys, with a lot of the readings, they come in like stages. Because if you notice the Gemini readings, it, it started out as this person was thinking about coming around, thinking about doing this, that, the other. And it went from that to um, to this. And I think I've I picked this up for you before. Was somebody was trying to do magic on you. I'm trying to do uh, spell work on you. Or on your relationships with this Three of Cups here. They're trying to do spell work on your relationships because they don't want you to move on. They want you to be stuck. They're trying to manifest you being stuck so you'll come running back to them. Because they feel rejected. They feel left out in the cold by you because you're not um, checking for them anymore. <sighs> Ciao. And I see this, uh, my eyes went here to this pride here. I feel like this person has a massive ego. So I feel like they're not going to tell you that they feel like this. They're not going to tell you that they don't want you to move on and be with someone else. It's, instead, they're going to do some bullshit instead. I mean, this person is, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this card. Look, look how he's rubbing his head, stressed out. They're stressed out. Because whatever they're trying to do isn't working. Whatever whatever bad they're wishing on you isn't working. In fact, it's backfiring. Because they're, now they're the ones trapped in their head. Those motherfucking tables turn, don't they? They turn quick. Because I feel like at one point, Gemini, you were the one in this energy over them. Scratching your head, stressed, wondering what the fuck. And now they're like scratching their head, stressed, <laughs> wondering what the fuck. <laughs> so now they're planning because obviously the spell work's not working. Okay. The, the bad energy they're trying to send you isn't working. Okay. So now they're trying to uh, fig figure out a way to come and give you this love offer. Why is it two of wands here, spirit? Could be a Capricorn, a Pisces, another water sign. Doesn't have to be, guys. Someone that just has a lot of feelings for you that but they're that they're not expressing. They're not expressing their feelings to you at all. They have a lot of feelings for you. And they're obsessed with you. And they're hiding it. They're hiding their obsession. 
Okay, I'm not going to take all these. But y'all see how the Five of Pentacles came out again? I'm trying to tell you guys. This person is, is hurt. Page of Swords again on the bottom. And they're watching you, uh, Gemini. This person is watching you. Okay? Because they're trying to see what you're doing. Yeah, not taking all these. But I will show you guys. The Five of Pentacles... The Six of Cups again. I told y'all this is somebody from the past or a soulmate. The King of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, this motherfucker's doing magic. Trying to. And it's not working. Trying to manipulate uh, you as well. Why the fuck the High Priest is coming out again, y'all? <laughs> yeah, this person's trying to manifest you. Again, could be a Libra, guys. Doesn't have to be. But this person is wishing that you, I'm not saying that they wish any like physical harm, but I'm getting the vibe that this person is wishing that whoever you've moved on with, because in their mind, you, you're fucking with somebody else because you're not dealing with them. Whoever you've moved on with, they want you to, that, that person to break your heart. So you'll come running back to them. So then they'll have their chance. Because they see you've kind of pulled away. They have a lot of feelings for you. Lots of cards come out. But again, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, Four of Cups, the Sun, and the King of Wands. Yes, for some of you, it's a fire sign. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. I had to pause the video. Making too much racket next door. So, um, where was I? Yeah, person doing magic, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, Gemini, like I said, I feel like with the two of wands and the high priestess, this person's trying to manifest you and it's not working. This person's waiting, 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 waiting. When I see this, I think of um, like having, having this, this person has their eye on the prize, which is you. You're the prize to them. But it's not coming to fruitation. This can also be they're waiting for whatever this whatever this shit is to pop off and it's not it seems kind of like fucked up in a way like this this person wants somebody to hurt you yes as i'm shuffling the seven of uh, swords on the bottom yeah this person wants somebody to hurt you so you'll come back to them they want whatever situation you've moved on from them to to fall apart and sadly it's not working. It's actually having the opposite effect on you, guys. Seven of Swords again as I'm shuffling. It's actually having the opposite effect, y'all. It's actually them in their head. Five of Pentacles again. I told y'all the shit's backfiring, guys. The tables have turned because now they're stressing over you. Now they're feeling unworthy. And I feel like you were like that at one point, uh, Gemini. You were feeling unworthy. You were feeling some type of way about this person. And now it's flipped. Because now they're all the shit they're trying to do towards you is, is backfiring back on them. Mm -hmm. Why is this Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Hmm. What? Ooh, y'all. The Knight of Cups comes out clarifying the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups again on the bottom of the deck. I told y'all. I told y'all. They're going to come back with this love offer. They've been waiting. They've been trying to manifest you. They've been keeping their eyes on you, Gemini. This is... Look Look how he's looking at this little earth thing in, 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 uh, in his hand. That's, that's you. I feel like th this is how they look at you. They have, they're on a mission to start dealing with you again. Ace of Cups again on the bottom again. That could also be another love offer for you guys from somebody completely different. <clears throat> the spell work is back backfiring. All the negative. Why is the Three of Cups clarifying the Three of Cups and the Devil again? I told y'all guys, this person is trying to uh, get in interfere with something if you have somebody else going in, in their life. The Eight of Swords again, y'all. Um, man, I can't make this up. Eight of Swords right here too. It's backfiring. And I feel like it's having the opposite effect. Because you see the Ten of Cups is here under this Eight of Swords. 
is having the opposite effect on them. On you, I mean. Everything that they're wishing on you is, is happening to them. They're wishing that you don't find nobody. Five of Wands, I can't make it up, guys. Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Them wishing that you don't find somebody else. Them wishing that the, the person that you're dealing with now hurts you so you can come back to them and, or so you'll take their love offer is, is backfiring on them. Tables is turning. And this person is jealous and in their ego. Baby. Didn't I... Man, spirit shows the fuck out. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, though, y'all. The devil, again, with the three of swords, crossing the devil and the high priestess. I'm trying to tell you, this person is trying to manifest a heartbreak for you, Gemini. And it's not working. And they're getting frustrated. Jealous and mad. Hmm. 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 <sighs> Ciao. Huh. The moon comes out. The queen of swords comes out. Yeah. The three of pentacles. Yeah. So with this three of pentacles here crossing these, uh, these two, I feel like you guys have a love offer from someone else. Some of you definitely do have, you are entertaining someone else. Some of you aren't. Okay. Even if you aren't, this person thinks that you are uh, Gemini. Okay, even if you aren't, this person thinks that you are. And this person is, is like I said, in, in anxiety. They might even be having dreams about you with other people. Yeah, they're going to be doing some shit, like I said, that is another mo a hidden motive. So if they come back around, Gemini... Um, there's going to be a hidden motive for why they're coming back around. You're going to have to use your discernment with this queen of swords here with, when this person comes back around. Okay. Because, um, I'm seeing that whatever they're doing isn't working. Whatever bad energy they're trying to send you is not working. It's just not. In fact, it's backfiring onto them. The tables turn quickly. Very quickly. Let me pull some love or oracle. Then I'll get some handwritten guys. Child, how's somebody gonna try to manifest a heartbreak? Why the look what flipped out though? Release your ex, Gemini. Romantic feelings, yeah, they're gonna try to come back and um express themselves. Spirit's telling you, you need to release this at least for now, okay? I'm also seeing another offer here, Gemini. You have another offer here, another love offer, but this uh, this past person, spirits want spirit wants you to have this message about this past situation it keeps coming up this person is trying to manifest a heartbreak for you so you can deal with them again that's what they want because they're jealous they're envious of whatever you have going on and their pride and ego is too big for them to actually say hey gemini i love you and deception on the bottom as i'm shoveling yeah hey gemini i love you i want to be with you they want to play games and do dumb shit they want you to come crawling back and begging them. Such a strange flex, like legit. Heart to heart conversations. I told you they want to talk to you, Gemini. They're going to come talk to you. They want to talk to you. Wedding. Mm -hmm. So this could be, the wedding could either be uh, with this new person and it came out right over these two love offers. So, and like I said in y'all's last reading, y'all have a connection that's going to come in. It's going to lead to a, a long-term commitment. Okay, so don't even trip on this past person. But this past person is trying to make um, shit hard for you in the love department. Because they see you moving on. They see you looking good. Or they, they see it, you, that you're not checking for them. Look what fell on the table. You think I'm going to let you go that easily? See? I can't make this up, you guys. 
show you guys what else fell out. Do I have to beg you? I hope it's not too late. Nothing in my life is the same since you left. Let me shuffle again. Okay, something just fell out, but I'll shuffle a little bit more first. Shit, cards are going everywhere, y'all. So what fell out? I know I messed up everything. Do you ever think of me? Let me try to get the one that flew across the room, y'all. <sighs> I'm mad at myself for how I treated you. That flew across the room. But instead of expressing that to you guys, they do bullshit. They spy and they obsess and they watch and they stalk. And they try to manifest communication from you. They try to manifest you chasing them and all this other fuckery. They try to manifest you getting hurt so you'll run back to them. My addiction is you, didn't I tell you, Gemini? This person's addicted and obsessed. These feelings I have for you are like no other. It scares me. Luxury Love by Mario. I love that song. Rent Free by Six Life. Yeah, this person thinks about y'all constantly. Constantly. I want to write a song for you. Some of you guys dealing with a magis uh, uh, musician musician if i can say it i said magician <laughs> oh shit y'all all right let me get one more i have a really hard time expressing my feelings and emotions yeah didn't i just tell y'all that this person is not very uh mature when it comes to communicating because all they had to do was say i love you i want to be with you even if you tell they ass to kick rocks no they want to try to do some fuckery instead your mind still by young blue let's cut the deck karma is kicking my ass didn't i tell y'all <laughs> all right gemini's that y'all's reading hit that like hit that subscribe guys it's greatly appreciated um thank you for watching till next time peace out